Hi, hello and welcome you all to Mother Teresa Learning Center. Pharmacognosy in 5 minutes is here. We have a classification of crude drugs in the video. We have two students who have chemo taxonomy and zero taxonomy. We have to explain a little bit about that. So, we are going to see now. We are going to see now. Chemo taxonomical classification and zero taxonomical classification. Chemo taxonomical classification for the work. In the approach, we have to say, the plant or the chemical features we are solving some taxonomical problems see taxonomical problems means already we have told you that is the order, genus, species and we have the taxonomical position so that is why one plant is in two areas what position is in the position is avoid the confusion we are using chemical feature of the plant to solve the taxonomical problem that is called chemo taxonomy this is called chemical taxonomy or chemical plant taxonomy, chemosystematics and that is what we can say. So, chemo taxonomy is establishing a relationship between a plant and a position and they are making attempts to utilize the chemical facts. Now, if you have ergot, that is a chemical factor. Winca is a chemical factor. If you look at the chemical factor, we will have a clear understanding of the taxonomical position. We will have a biological evolution and a clear understanding. For example, we will have a flavonoids in chemo taxonomy. We will have a very classic compound. Flavonoids are phenolic glycosides. There is a benzene ring. It is linked through a heterocyclic pyrene ring. So, flavonoids are anthocyanidin, flavone, flavanol, isoflavonoids. That is the classification. So, if you look at it, alkaloids are nitrogen containing compounds. That is a heterocyclic ring. Tropane alkaloids are mostly all of them in the Solanaceae family. So, this is a chemotaxonomic marker. All tropane alkaloids are almost in the Solanaceae family. So, tropane alkaloid is a feature, a chemical feature. That is why we have a Solanaceae family in the taxonomical position. This is a chemotaxonomic marker. That is why we have proteins. In the chemo taxonomy, how do you use proteins? Protein is a very large complex molecule. That is in a plant or body in large quantities. So, if you analyze the protein, there are many taxonomical characters revealed. So, in short, what do you say? In a plant, there are chemical characters that we can trace the evolution of the plant. So, what do you say? What do you say? What do you say? We have hybridization and breeding knowledge. You get an understanding between chemical constituents, अदोड़िया synthesis, secondary metabolites ये इंदलो के important आप दिन रहते हैं इंदर taxonomy मूल्य में आप लोग देखेंगे। इधर disadvantage पतिंग ना इधर ये organized ये दे, unorganized ये दे आप दिन चलिए तनिया वेर बढ़ती काट ले। And therapeutic nature treatment और protocol आदत पति इधर ये दुनिया सरिया explain पाने ला। Next पतिंग ना zero taxonomical classification। Serological techniques apply पनी और problem में solve पना that is called as zero taxonomical classification. So, now, antigen, antibody. How do they react to each other? They are called serology. If you have to form an antibody, you can form an antigen. You can form an antigen. Antibody is highly specific protein molecule. That is where we produce immune system. That is why we are highly specific protein molecule. That is why we produce immune system. That is why we produce immune system. That is why we produce immune system. So, antibody. So, antibody is antigen. Particular antibody will only fight with particular antigen. Specificity. That is why, for the protein, Taxonomical information is carried by one generation to the other generation. That's why the antigen-antibody reaction is the antigen-antibody reaction. So, the most important thing is that serological data is the angiosperms that first classify using serological data. Fair Brothers, the scientist, is the serological data of orders and families. Rubiales, Fagales and Ranunculales. In the mother and orders, they used the technique of serotaxonomy. Zero taxonomy is the data size of the data size because they are taking a large pool of antigen antibody reaction and cladogram analysis is the statistical method that is done in this case and the molecule is unchanged so we can trace the relationship with the plant so we can trace the relationship with the plant so we can trace the relationship with the plant and non-heritable variation is the same as we can avoid it in this case Disadvantage is that past changes in characters are not recorded in this record. And functionally, what is the difference between the correlation is that it is rare and it is very difficult to find it. If it is not a molecule, it is not that easy. It is a very difficult process. 
and no familiar intermediate condition between the characters and no primitive condition for a given DNA site is recognized in uh, zero taxonomy. So generally to speak, zero taxonomy is having more advantage, but still it is a complex procedure which involved uh, skilled manpower also to do all these things. So that's what about the chemo taxonomy and zero taxonomical classification. So in the video, you can doubt in the comment section. Like Narakama Mother Teresa Learning Center channel, subscribe. Thank you, my dear students. Learning today for a better tomorrow.